Hey guys, Target Cycle and FPV, and we are actually getting ready to do our third frame right now. This is going to be a third frame of the night, actually. This is going to be the Martian uh, 2 140 series. So let me go ahead and open this up, and what we'll do is we'll start sharing the screen here. We're going to build this together. It looks like it's probably going to be very simple and very quick to build, but um, it looks pretty stout too. So let me just go ahead and get, get this out of the way. Put it over there, and let's see what we got. Okay. Um, Things we're gonna do. Let's get the carbon fiber pieces out, and uh, this is gonna be our lipo um, plate, uh, our, the, the battery protection plate. So I'm not gonna put that on right now because they all look the same. So I'm just gonna leave that aside. But what I care about here is, man, that's that's very stout. Okay, so um, looks like it's a good solid three millimeters. Let's see. Let's zero this out and see where we're at. So we are at. Uh, 2.95, so 2.94, uh, 2.93, 2.94. Now, let me see if I, oh, well, let me zero this again. All right, now, let's try it now. So 2.98, all right, so I'm gonna round it to three because I'm sure that given that it's, I'm tired, it's late, there's a good chance that I may not be holding this perfectly still to get that measurement. So let's go ahead and open up the parts. We're gonna put my scissors here, there. All right, so let's go ahead and get the screws out. There they are. And let's get the standoffs out. There they are. And then we got our nylon standoffs right here. Let's go ahead and dump those out as well. Let's see what we're working with, okay? Let's put the scissors in. Put the box cutter away. And see what we got. All right, so we've got our frame. And by the looks of it, this is gonna be the front. Wow, this is really stout. This will be interesting to build. Um, okay, and we've got our um, our camera pieces here, and this looks like it's about a millimeter. I'll take a guess here and say this is about a millimeter, and it is right around a millimeter. And then the top plate, ooh, about the same, oh, one and a half. Okay, so um, top plate is going to sit like this. Okay, I don't think it's going to sit any other way. It doesn't look like it would because we need the camera to move. So it's going to sit like this, and our stand also go here. And do we have multiple size standoffs for them or something? Oh, they look like they're all the same. Okay, so this is a pretty quick build, I think. Um, so let's get started, okay? Uh, the weird thing is, is that the screws are all the same size, I believe, which, I don't know, you'd think with the bigger carbon fiber on the bottom, it wouldn't be that way, but I tell you what though, man, this is a stout frame. I think we'll build this one now. We'll do another, we'll do a, a kit with this one. This is really cool. Um, let me just knock this out. And so you've got a 30 by 30, and you can see right here, uh, where I put my ruler, it's right here. So if you want to look at this, you're going to see that right here, you've got your 20 by 20s, and you've got your 30 and a half by 30 and a half, okay? So you've got two options here. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and put my standoffs that they gave me here, just so I can show you. These are the nylon standoffs, by the way. Oh, you're going crazy. Okay. There we go. Okay. And then we have um, some more of the aluminum standoffs coming in right here. One, two, three, So let me just try to screw this down here. Yeah, this little sucker's good. All right. Five. Put this here. Now 
they've given us the nylon fasteners for the nylon standoffs, so I'm just going to put them on there so I don't lose them, because I always lose them. There we go, two. Three. Four. Okay, God, sorry guys. That took me forever, right? Um so what is the deal here? I see, maybe I dropped these here. All right, so here we go. Let's put our camera stand in now, camera mounts. So there's one here. Come on, there it is. The other one is right here. All right, and then let's put the top on. Oh, that's a tight fit, let's come on. All right, let me put a couple screws in here to hold this in place, and then I'm sure we'll be able to get this to kind of wiggle its way in. I would hope. Ah. Let me see, put this, make sure these fit in here properly first. I tell you what, they fit, but it's, it's a tight fit here, so you may want to be very careful when you're doing this because you do not want this stuff breaking on you, okay? Probably some of the worst splinters I've ever had come from this material. So, all right, let's try it this way. Maybe this way we can get it to... So there we go. All right, so let's fasten this down. <laughs> okay, there's one. Oh my gosh, after all that, I've got one screw down there. Let's do this one. Okay. And then let's go here. sure that's in there good hold on there we go and that pretty much wraps up the frame i mean that's that's all there is to it it's a pretty simple frame um i'll get the scale here in just a second see what it's weighing in at but i'll tell you what it's uh, it's pretty stout um it is not modular it is an all-in-one unibody construction so i do like that i'm always a fan of the unibody construction uh they're just more expensive to make oops uh, because you have to use that, you waste that much more carbon fiber in a sheet. So I will always say that, you know, if you get a unibody frame, you should be expecting to pay more because you're definitely limited as the manufacturer as to how many you can get out of the same sheet. So don't be upset if you buy one and you find that it was more expensive. That's the way it's supposed to be. All right. Okay, so everything else looks like it's tightened pretty good. And there we go. I mean, that is our frame. Um, I, I, I like this frame, actually. 
and I'm going to go ahead and build this one as well. So we've got, we've got one pending to build here, which is this one here, right? And then I've got another one, which is um, sitting somewhere above me there. And you know what? I'm just going to put these on. This way I'll know that I'm going to be building this one. Let's go ahead and put these on. Big old looking Dumbo feet on this thing. Almost done. One more. There it is. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Um, and then we have our plate here for our lipo. Again, this should be pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, so let me just knock this out. One piece goes here. And the other pieces will go here. There it is. So let's get the trash out of here. So this is the Martian 2140. I am extremely impressed with how tiny this frame is and how stout it is. Um, I think this is going to be a fun build right here, guys. So, uh, oh yeah, let's get the scale. All right, let's get that scale right here. Turn it on. Make sure we get 50. There we go. And let's see. 56 grams. Excellent. Oh, wait, with the lipo piece, uh, 62. All right, so six grams for that. All right, excellent. So again, uh, here we go. So again, this is it right here. Guys, this is the uh, Martian 2 140, the TCMM frame. So it's in stock right now. You can check it out on our website. It, it seems to be a very good frame. I will do a build on this. As a matter of fact, I'm going to use some DYS 1806 motors. So I'll, uh, I'll do that build, and I'll put all the information here. But as always, if you have any questions, just uh, email me at targetcyclonefpv.com and please also subscribe to us on YouTube and then follow us on Facebook, okay? All these little likes and subscribes and follows really help. Whoops, leave that out. All right. Anyways, uh, again, this is the third one I've done tonight, which still means it's still six days till Christmas. And again, I'll still say the same thing. Spend time with your family, put the drones down. You never know how much time you have with them, so please make the most of it. Be safe, God bless, have a Merry Christmas, and uh, we'll see you soon, okay? Talk to you later, guys. Bye.